Photoshop is a great tool for all the different artistic needs you need, from photo editing to thumbnail making, even I use it for my own thumbnails. But if you need Photoshop and you're too broke to afford it, keep watching this video because I'm going to show you how to be able to use Photoshop completely for free. Now when I say use Photoshop, I'm not talking about buying a free trial of the actual Adobe Photoshop or just buying it outright or finding some code to buy it. We're actually not even going to be using Photoshop. Stick with me, this will make sense in a second. What you're going to do is, you're not even going to be on the Adobe website. You're going to go right here and you're going to do photop.com, P like the vegetable. And then here you are. Now, doesn't this look a little bit familiar? Basically, Photop is like an online version of Photoshop, except it's completely free. The only difference is that there are ads on the right side of the screen. But if you decide to support them, then you can remove them if you really want to. But in this case, we're just going to go to a new project, and you can create whatever kind of size you want, you know, just do that. And basically, every single thing you can do in Photoshop, I'd say 95% of the things you could do in Photoshop, you could do here. Just as an example, here's the photo from my pre one of my previous thumbnails. You can grab it, you know, you can maneuver it around a little bit, change the size, you can warp it around, you can, obviously, you can use a brush and, you can use a brush and draw on it, and another great feature is that this actually works with tablets. So let's say you're using Photop on an iPad. You can actually use this web version of Photoshop with your stylus. You can control the size and the opacity of your stylus depending on how hard you push on the screen. And overall, pretty much all the features are there. You can make animations, you could use multiple layers, you could change the different layers in terms of how transparent they are, or color hues, brightness, outlines, blur, there's so many things you can do. And all of this is completely for free. I highly, highly recommend this, and if you have a tablet, I recommend it even more. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy, I hope you found this useful. If you did find this useful, please give me a like, um, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check the link in the description where you can find Photop as well as the link to my Discord. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Happy Photoshopping!